All I have in this world is my balls and my word. And I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? Rightio Legends, Cast Chronicles. So we are back with another video. And as promised in my last video, I would make a video on the time I saved someone from a fire and was arrested for doing so. So I guess... Um, yeah, I'll just say there's not real any real message to this. I guess there's a little one at the end. It's just one of those stories that I, f I feel you guys need to know because it helps, you know, put my message across, you know. Um, so I guess, you know, this is around 21 years ago. This all happened now. And um, so I know this because I know that my ex was very pregnant with my firstborn child. And, um, yeah, so, um, I was at, I think it was the weekend. I would say it was a weekend cause we were partying pretty hard and we only partied on the weekends. So, um, you know, we were partying drugs and alcohol, not that it has any difference to this story, but you know, it was about three o'clock in the morning and I realized I probably should start getting home. You know, my, my partner was very, very pregnant at the time and, um, and yeah, I just thought that that's where I needed to be rather than out partying with my mates. But it got to about 3.30 anyway and my partner said, you should should come home. So I was like, yeah, all right, I'm coming home now. And so I started my walk home, which was only 10 minutes from where I was stay, uh, partying at the time. And so I guess I was nearly home. I was about six houses away from where I was staying. So I was staying just around the corner from where I was. So yeah, that was just around the corner from where I was. So I, I I heard the smoke alarm. I was standing out the front, I guess, and um yeah, I I heard the smoke alarm, and um yeah, I kind of just didn't think anything of it. I just kept on walking. Then I got to about two two houses away from where I was staying, and um yeah, I, it kind of got the better of me. I was like, what if there's people home? What if there's like kids in there? What if they've got smoke inhalation? I had all these thoughts going through my head and, and it got the better of me. So I had then done a UE to turn around and, and go back there. And so I get to this place and I am standing out the front and the smoke alarm is still going off. And so I thought what am I going to do here you know um what if there is someone in there and yeah like I said it was just getting the better of me I walked up to the door I thought I could smell smoke um and so my instant thought was to feel the door like I said in my last video I watched that movie backdraft and I think I remember it from school the stop drop and roll shit if if the door's hot don't open it and so I was like damn I, I can't open it um if it's hot um but yeah it wasn't hot and so I was like, what am I going to do now? I thought if I kick this door in and and there isn't a fire in here, I'm going to be getting in big shit for this, you know, aggravated burglary type shit that three years minimum sentencing for me. And um, so I was like, you know, I, I think I'm going to go back and get my pregnant girlfriend so she can stand on the footpath and just even film it just, just to show that I'm actually doing the right thing here. So I started – to walk out the front gate and I noticed two young men walking past and one of them I actually um, knew from football. So I actually played back-to-back -back premierships, Benalla Rollbacks thirds. We actually got in the grand final the third year too, but we lost that one. But um, anyway, Benalla Rollbacks, let's go. And um, so – I knew this guy and I explained to him, I said, this house is on fire. I believe the smoke alarm's been going off for a little bit now. I think we should go in and try and save these people if there's anyone in there. So banging on the door, no one's answering the door. And I'm like, damn, like I have to do something about this. So I just went boot, kicked the door in. And um, those two dudes straight away took off. They're like, no, nah, we're not having any part of this. They got on the phone to the fire brigade straight away. As soon as I opened the door, I could see that the house was full of smoke. So I just took action, went straight inside. There was no one in the lounge room. I just thought I'm going to go straight for the first bedroom, ran in there, no one in there. Needed to get some breath because it was really, really smoky. Ran outside, 
told the boys I'm going back in to check the second bedroom. So I go into the second bedroom and now this was only a little two bedroom joint and but I the second bedroom was right in where the kitchen was and I could see at that time that the kitchen was on fire and um, so what had happened, he'd left something like dim sims in the pot. It was an old school enamel pot, the pot glue scorching red hot and then caught on fire and then the black backsplash behind the kitchen like behind the stove and that was all pine like they'd put it there themselves with lacquer all over it and like this stuff just went up like the clappers and um there's guy forks night in that lounge room and um so anyway i i dart straight into the second bedroom and i realized that there's someone lying on the bed in there and i actually realized that someone i used to went to school with and so he was a year younger than me tried waking him up he wouldn't wake up so I, and he was lying there stark naked like totally 100 percent naked had to chuck him up bits and all put him over my shoulder and ran him outside put him on the chair he's still not waking up i'm telling these two younger dudes to try and wake him up i'm going to check the bathroom and laundry if there's no one in there there's no one else in here so anyway i cleared the house i come running back outside i'm nearly dying from smoke inhalation myself and so i'm sitting down there trying to wake this guy up he comes to and he starts saying all this crazy stuff like this happens all the time my uncle does this to me now he's talking about doing stuff to him that's why he's naked and not the fire and i was like whoa <laughs> was not expecting that and um so anyway he, he automatically just jumped up and then ran straight back into the fire now his house is well on fire by now and um so yeah anyway i run back in drag him outside i'm like you got to stay here mate you're not thinking straight right now your house is on fire you can't save it you need to just stay here and um so yeah anyway i he, he went to jump up and run outside again and I had to punch him in the stomach so he wouldn't jump out and run again and um, and made sure he stayed there. But in this time, the fire brigade have rocked up. They've put the fire out and then the police have rocked up, started asking questions. They're like, so how did you find the fire? Blah, blah, blah. Just all bullshit questions. And I was like, well, I was walking past. So, yeah, they were asking questions like, how, how how did you know that house was on fire by just walking past it blah 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 weren't having any fucking part of me being a superhero and saving the day chucked me in the back of the divvy van took me down to the police station and continued the same bullshit questions down there i gave a no comment interview um i was just so pissed off i was like there's no way i'm getting locked up for saving someone's life but i did and so anyway, they remanded me and I was refused bail and supposed to be at court on that Monday. But um, yeah, so the next day had um, come along. I didn't sleep one bit. I was so fucking pissed off. I was like, I really can't believe this is happening to me. And um, luckily, those two dudes that I went and said like hey this house is on fire and luckily i knew one of those dudes from football because you know they put their hand up and said like there's no way that that you know biffo started the fire because i didn't and it was just like yeah crazy you know how i i wanted to do something good and i was going to be punished for it and the truth is had i not done the right thing and thought fuck if i kick this door in and no one's around I'm going to get, if I hadn't a thought like that, I definitely wouldn't have got let out the next day. So I guess, you know, like I said at the start of this, there's not really a moral to this story. I'm just telling this story because I just wanted to hear it. But I guess there kind of is a moral because the truth is, right, although I was only very young at that time, I still had my finger in every single crime pie you could find. And I was a little fucking shit to the cops and they hated me and wanted me gone. And so, like, the truth is, if that was just a normal Jane Citizen, John Citizen, who abides by the law and doesn't get in trouble with the law, well, then, you know, they would have been given a bloody merit medal or something like that, definitely a gold star or something. But I guess that's the moral of this story, you know, and, and I can't reiterate enough. There is not one time then your fucking past history is not going to get you overlooked by the cops, you know. It's always going to happen. So I guess that's the moral of this story is, you know, it doesn't even matter when you do good. If you're doing fucking shit things in your life that the police know about, it's not going to matter. Do you know what I mean?
trust me on that one. But um, anyway, guys, I have been the Chaos Chronicles. You guys have been awesome. But before you go, if you haven't shot me a subscribe, jump up there and shoot me a subscribe. That would be absolutely fantabulistic, and I would really, really appreciate that. Also, guys, I do have memberships available, and I haven't pumped out a members video in a couple of weeks, so I'll do another one of them today or tomorrow as well. Um, so what does that mean for my page? It just means you can, you know, if, if you guys want to support my page, you, you can – you can pay to watch videos and stuff like that that only members can see and, and it just really helps my page to grow and do bigger and better things with this page which is what everyone wants and it's what we're slowly doing but slowly but surely anyway i've been the cast chronicles we out i am also the guy decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not